Hey guys, Ben Seacrest from Accurate Fishing Products here. Um, lately we've got a lot of questions on jigging reels for tuna, bluefin tuna here in the Bight here in California Bight. But we're also talking to a lot of people on the East Coast which are doing the same thing. They're using speed jigs for those fish out there too. They have a lot of fish going up and down the beach back east and um, talking to the guys and they're actually catching them on, on the same stuff we're doing. So what I wanted to do is talk to you about three different reels that we'd be using for if you want to call it jigging it's pretty much speed jigs are a little bit different than butterfly or slow pitch but this is what we've been using our first setup here this is an 80 pound setup basically what it's got 600 narrow it's got 350 yards of 80 on it and what we've done is attached the 80 with an fg knot to a piece of about 100 pound floral which goes to a leader that's attached to a leader up here with this barrel swivel that's a 300 pound leader to your jig so you're looking at six to one three to one ratio on this two speed super important to have the two speed especially you know getting on the rail fighting the fish this rod is a bb 70 76 and uh, it's actually a bb x 76 mh it's rated for 50 to 65 pound, but works great with 80. This is a perfect rod for them schoolies. Fish up to like, you know, talking 70 pounds. And then, you know, one thing that I thought was cool that the guys were doing this year that I learned on the boat was they're putting a split ring on the jigs. And they have a little loop here that's crimped. And what they're doing with that is they're just being able to go through and take the jig off and replace the leaders once they catch your fish. Plus, when you're traveling, you can have the jigs in one place and the leaders coiled in another place, and it's a lot easier to do. So that's the first outfit that we're pretty much using. The second outfit would be this guy. This is a 800 narrow, and with 800 narrow, we've got basically uh, Iser lines come up with new jigging line. It's uh, one color is 100 feet. Got four colors on this, backed with. Um, 80 pound braid on the back of this and then we're using this you know i'm using this at night time catching fish up to maybe 125 140 pounds you could probably do one a little bit bigger um two speed again super important five to one 2.2 to one gear ratio on this guy and the rod is a bb x 76 h which is rated 65 to 80. this setup I've had a lot of fun with this setup. We had uh, this setup, we were jigging in uh, Fiji earlier in the year and had uh, yellowfins to 160 pounds on this. It's te it will test you for sure, but it's fun. We're out there to have some fun. What I'm trying to show you is some light combos that you can actually go out and put some heat on the fish and not too much on you. So with this one, it's the same setup, but on top I have 135 Iserline colored line, four colors on that. And then that's again attached to an F, uh, FG knot, then attached, and this is 130 pound, and then this attached here is to this 300 pound leader that goes back to the jig. Each one of these setups has a barrel swivel on the top. So it's something to look at. The jigs themselves, they go anywhere from like, I'm probably using 250s to 400s. I'm using a lot of 310s right now, they work really good. But this is the second one that I'm using right here. Love it. And lastly, what I've been using, we've been using this um, Valiant 800. The Valiant 800, I've got it on the Accurate Rail Rod, which is a 70 triple XH. And again, with this guy, same deal. Got 135 on top here. And that 135 is attached here with the wind on. And the wind on's got 130 on it attached to this leader 300 and again bigger jigs you know at least 300 this is what i'm using at nighttime a lot we've got small little things that makes it a lot more comfortable too you can get this uh real clamp on it that's got a little eye on it which holds the holds the hooks but if you look at the hooks that we're doing on most of the jigs you see me with two trailer hooks on the back that's worked extremely well for me i see a lot of guys putting hooks on the top they do a lot of different things, but the one thing I can tell you about this type of fishing, can't get away with it without a two-speed. And the other thing is, the rail is your friend. So get, get used to it, you're going to get on the rail with a lot of the stuff that's going on with it. So 
Um, I think it's, it's a super fun way to fish right now, especially when at night you're dropping down and you can feel the jig hit things, but it's not really stopping. That's hitting the backs of tunas and some of the schools that you're pulling up in. When it stops, turn the handle, and get ready, it's on. So if you guys are looking for uh, something fun to do, the jigging, speed jigging is a lot of fun to do. And uh, the other thing is if you have any questions on this product, you can see at accuratefishing.com, both the rods and the reels. If you need anything from us, you can call us. But we appreciate the support and look forward to a great season with you guys. Be sure to check out these combos and more at accuratefishing.com.